Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you all for joining me. Today is a very special episode of Red Dead Redemption 2, that is. I wonder why though. The, uh, the reason has slipped my mind. Ah! We have a face cam! Hello everyone! Today is a very special episode because it is the first episode that you will see me playing the game. And now you guys can look forward to not only watching one of the best games to be released in 2018 and me play through it, but you guys now have to look at my ugly mug the entire time I'm playing. Not only that, you also get to hear me and what I sound like halfway through a bad cold and before anyone says it, no, it's not man flu. I really hate that reason. Anyway, let's just get on with things. We've got... A mission to do with Hosea, which started off with the mission we did in the previous episode, which we confiscated a load of moonshine from some moonshiners, and now Hosea wants to speak to us about it, so let's go and find him now. I believe he's just up the road, and we'll see what he has to say to us. And here is the man himself. Hosea, my fine man. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it, they must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. All right, John. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Looks like I'm Thank driving. You, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Ooh. Sure, okay. New mission okay, coming up with John, maybe. To the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah. I I've think so. There. I've had a little so bit of practice recently. So what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think that good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, Good to make an impression. These are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. Transporting Bob. letters. Feeding private information. We have gone the wrong way, by the way. They don't seem too involved in the rest but of it's it. all good. Maybe. Well, I'll get up back on track. I'm sure it's all good. Money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Well, knowing us, Hosea, we can definitely do that. And I've been playing through a lot of the game recently off, like, story mode, off camera. And there are so many random encounters you can have with strangers. And they, lots and lots of them talk about this Braithwaite Grey feud. So, it's clearly a big thing in this game. in the back there moonshine, moonshine of course may i have a word with the man of the house the man of the house is a lady mrs catherine is she may i speak with her i want to discuss a business opportunity i mean no harm no harm at all you may happily shoot me if i do and i would okay. greatly accept okay she's at the house Right, let's get moving. We've got a tail. And you guys will have to let me know down in the comments what you think to the face cam as well. Uh, me and George, obviously, the only ones on the channel to have a face cam at the moment. So, you know, upgrades are being made. We're moving into the upper echelon of YouTubers now. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think. I hope all the settings are all right. It's been a, it's been a bit finicky to set up, but it looks like it's pretty good now. Something. What you want? Out in the hills, thought. Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> Though it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. 
Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? You're gonna make an awful mess with that scatter gone hey from that range. Man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. That's right. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Ten. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play. A I believe they call it critic. generosity. All right. Who's up Next some free moonshine? The road saloon. Here we go. Right. Let's head into Rhodes so Saloon. I Got Not really a good place for us. Nothing going, much really good were. happens there. Especially after that in saloons. In no, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Right. So, I'm going to drop this up. stuff off. Chuck it you out for free. Already have that thing going We've on already made town. some money, which sure. is good. Yeah, we Mr. like money. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. <laughs> you know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're you're a clown's idiot brother. Oh, is that right? I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Oh, this is good at doing that. He does that every day. <laughs> Smoke this pipe. Scarecrow's hat. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Yeah, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You I'm dying speak. to see this on You're camera. If they give us a view of it and what he looks like. Right. Broke poor man is Whoa. Ah, Hard there left. There. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. Huh? Okay, so we're playing a idiot's no, we're playing a clown clown's idiot brother who is by the looks of things sandwich short of a few picnics if you know what that means. We drop in, drop this off right okay, here. Stay calm now. For mama, she loved you so. Fenton, Fenton. Just a shame. <laughs> Strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. I bet you they put that in this game purely because of that video. What, what, what fake name should we give Arthur when he plays the, the, you know, numpty? Oh, Fenton. That'd be a good one. Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. What's this my brother Fenton. Like? Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. Just We're hand in the out trade of advertising, dollar. which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come Enjoy on, your two Fenton. bucks. Just hand out the liquor. Come along, Fenton. Fenton! Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Fenton. You're drinking all the moonshine. The moonshine's made you soft, Fenton. Gentlemen! My name is Milton. That's my brother Fenton. 
He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yes. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. <laughs> if you can drink him, Fenton bar, can pour him. Raise ball. What? Raise glass. Oh dear. Oh dear. Serve drink. I don't think I've quite got the hang of this yet. Raise bottle. Raise glass. Pour bottle. And so. Cool. Funny, it was this easy in real life. Raise bottle. Raise glass. And serve drink. License to serve. Thank you very much. I can even pour from my height. Let them go. And it's a madhouse. Yeah, I will. Bear with me. I'll just pour them for you. And don't you worry, old Fenton. He'll he'll sort you out. The scenes. We've turned this completely legal house of appreciative alcoholic drinking into a brothel. Uh, Quiet libation. You, me, you're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump. We're in advertising. Uh, come on in, have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, if it's yours, why do I have it? Fenton can shoot too. Fenton shoot. Ow. Fenton doesn't like that. Oh. See you later. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Really? You're right there. I'm getting good at the shooting stuff. Must be the moonshine. Oh god. Oh no, there's one more guy there. What the hell? You! Hey! Stay still. Oh. That was a. Ah. My bad. I'm sorry. What? Oi! You! Stay still! I failed the mission. Because I didn't save Hosea in time. Because I tried to reload the gun. And, uh, yeah. Retry. I do get frustrated at this game sometimes, but at least my karma is now reset, so I don't have to worry about having shot that guy who was just trying to hide, and it was completely innocent. Hey you, use that banister as cover, I'll show you. There we go. See you. Right. Let's try not to make such an embarrassment of ourselves this time. Stop you shooting at me. Hey! Right. You. And then this guy. Hey! Must have missed Isaiah by literally millimeters there. There we go. I feel like this game doesn't really suit itself to gunfights like this, like up close and personal. It's a little bit clunky. Just because the like auto run mechanics and stuff like that. Christ! Good job, hose. No, don't stop the wagon. Let it go, let it go. Right, give me my... 
really. I want my proper guns. Bye. Oh. There they are. Who's up to bat next? Send out the fast bowler. Well, yeah, of course they did. The thing got a truck full of it, Jose. I wouldn't think they're going to shoot at. What's the bigger target to hit? I saw moonshine. Need a few more headshots here. There we go. One. Ooh. Saw that one coming. Train. 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 Oh, it's, it's miles away. Oh, more of them. Oh, I need some... I need some help, desperately. There we go. Right. Where are you? Hey! I want to hit your horse. I'm too good for that. I'll shoot Lamorn Raiders all day long, though. Oh, really? They just pop up on your map like that? You! Hey! Ah! Where's the next one? Oh, he's still coming. Isn't he? Cool, he's rocked. He could keep going, couldn't he? Like a bullet sponge. Don't think so. All right, well, excitement in this episode. You see, this is what you come to Brit Boys play for. You could just buy the game, obviously. But Right, what are we going over here for? Right. Oh, I missed it. I was speaking over you, Hazel. I'm sorry. Remind me never to take up a career. In... What was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, it certainly is. Seeing those fellas. Some local. Militia. We make it odd. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's What's call left it a of it? peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> Yeah, not before I act on you, Isaiah. Right, I'm gonna go speak to Dutch. Apparently, I don't know if that's. I think that's what Arthur said. You kind of you realise when you start making videos, so you kind of you miss think? a lot. About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I so named my last thinking? episode A Tale of Two Lovers. Because it's so like Romeo and Juliet. Both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose has gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Oh, God. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something John and Javier. Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. 
Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Okay. Well, you heard it from the horse's mouth, guys. That's what we're gonna do. Next episode, we'll be meeting up with John and Javier at the Gray's place. I'm not gonna do the mission with Sean. I don't like Sean. But I do like John and Javier. And especially John, because obviously, Red Redemption, main character in that game. So, we're gonna meet up with them. We're gonna talk to them about the Gray's horses and stuff like that. I'm gonna end this episode here today. Thank you very much for joining. I do hope you like the new addition in the face cam. I do hope everything's working well and... Don't worry a little, Mr. Morgan. Uh, All the time. Every job. time I'm doing an outro. I know, son. Introduction? In you You're introducing me. Now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me, guys. If you did enjoy the face cam, please do put a comment down below in the video. Let me know how, if you like it. Let me know if you think anything needs to be changed. I hope the the light settings work well. I hope you can see me all right. Like, but auto focus is working. I'm going to watch this video back now and start editing through it. In the next episode, we'll go with John and we'll go with Javier. We'll go to the Grace place. We'll start talking to them about their horses. And there might be another mission as well. Cool one. Maybe a maybe a bank robbery. Bank robbery. Maybe, maybe. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining me. Please do leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And we will see you in the next one.